what does she get? A walk-on part in Pancho. Not even a speaking part in that. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just at the Seacom Theatre in Sutton and um, it's quite sad seeing it as it is now. I think they've turned it into a shelter now uh, for rough sleepers which is actually really really good. Great idea. But I do think back of all the uh, memories of all the shows we've done here. And it was opened in 1981. I think I did my first show here in 1987 with Sutton, well, no, Carl and Pantomime Company. Do you realise I've been on stage two minutes and I haven't had a line yet? <laughs> Only when the scriptwriters are trying to pad the show out a bit. How nature reclaims itself so quickly, look. Wow. Like a mini forest. <laughs> Sorry, we're right off our main road. Yeah. I did shows here for a long time, as a lot of people did. Yeah, Sutton Night Watch for homeless people, that's brilliant. It's Monday, Wednesday and Friday. What a great idea. Also charitable donations. Please give us. That's a great idea. So people are just giving food, clothing. That's really good. I held my Sutton Film Festival here for a few years as well. First one is The Falling, directed by Nathan Dev. I'm number one. <laughs> Number two. I'm not going to say I'm number two. <laughs> Three. Very <laughs> yeah, good memories. Obviously, we've still got the Charles Cryer uh, Studio Theatre, now called Cryer Arts, after Charles Cryer, who ran Sutton Arts Council for many years. Seacom Theatre was obviously named after Harry Seacom, who used to live in Cheam Road. When Charles Cryer died, uh, we did a tribute show in 1989, and Harry Seacom was a uh, guest. I thought I was a girl from the back because I had long hair back then. <laughs> and just quick to jump around uh, Seacom Theatre. Good times. Mm. Like, subscribe, all the rest of it. See you next time. <laughs>